Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll discuss a critical topic for system administrators, how to remove domain users from all remote desktop groups using group policy on Windows Server. Using group policy, managing remote desktop access is critical in any organization to ensure that only authorized users can connect remotely. Allowing unrestricted access can lead to security vulnerabilities, unauthorized logins, and potential data breaches. Okay, let's begin the process of creating and applying this policy step by step. First, open the client computer to ensure that a domain user is added to the remote desktop groups. Open the computer management window, select local users and groups on the left, and open the groups folder on the right. Then double click the remote desktop users group. Here, you'll find a user named test1 added. Even when you try to remove him, he won't be removed. Therefore, we'll create a policy to remove this user from the remote desktop users group. Returning to the domain server, open the server manager dashboard, click the tools menu, and from menu, select group policy management console. Then right click the organizational unit to which you want to apply the policy and select create a GPO in this domain and link it here. In the new GPO window, enter an appropriate name for this policy and click OK. An appropriate name makes it easier to access this policy at any time. Now I'll configure local users and groups in the group policy. Right click the newly created GPO and select Edit. This will open the group policy management editor. On the left, expand the folders to open the path shown on the screen. I'll leave the path in the video description for easy access and saving. Then right click on local users and groups, select new, and then select local group. In the new local group properties window, select the update option next to the action so that the policy is always update. Under the group name, select the remote desktop users group from the drop-down list. And in the members section, click add button to add the domain username you want to remove from remote desktop users group. Then click browse user and group names and select the username test1, add it, and select the remove from this group action. Then click OK, then apply. This creates the policy that will remove the username test1 from remote desktop users group on the client computer. Now you can close all open windows on the domain server and open the client computer again to verify that the new policy has been applied. From client computer, open a command prompt and enter the command responsible for updating the group policy, gp update slash force, and wait a few seconds for the group policy update to be enforced. After successfully updating the group policy, close command prompt window. Now, open the computer management window again to verify that the new policy has been applied. Select local users and groups on the left side. Open the groups folder on the right side and then double click on remote desktop users group. You will notice that the domain user named test1 has been permanently removed from the group. Applying this group policy is a practical and effective way to secure your network by preventing unauthorized users from accessing remote desktop connections. This enhances your network security, enforces stricter security policies, and reduces potential security risks. If you found this video helpful, click the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more IT management lessons. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or need further clarification. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.